Hello everybody and welcome to another Honkai Star Rail video. Today we have something important to get into. We have the two new five stars and the new four star coming in patch 2.2. Uh, everything's already been dripped. Uh, and well, some things have already been dripped. Most of it's been dripped, but um. You'll see what I mean by that in, in about a minute here. Uh, let's get into Robin. I'm not going to read all this out for you. We're just going to talk about, you know, uh, her and what it kind of means for the game, right? Let's talk about Robin. This is a physical five star, five star physical uh, harmony. Now let's put that here. This will be the second physical harmony in the game. And this, this comes after Hanya. And this is a uh, Robin. Um, what do I think that this means for the game? What I think that this means for the game is I think Robin might be one of the easiest skips of all time as long as you've pulled for uh, Ruan May and Sparkle, right? I'm I'm not quite sure what to think about her. Um, I hear she has a buff that increases your crit damage. Wow, that's so crazy. That's so crazy. That sounds like two other Harmony characters that I know. Uh, that is Ronya and Sparkle. And Sparkle just came out. Sparkle just came out here in 2.0, and now we're going to get Robin in 2.2. I don't know. I don't know. Sparkle, of course, her niche is a little bit more apparent. Her niche is a little bit more existent. In the way that, um, you know, she works a lot better with Don Hong IL, uh, QQ, Zila, you know, she works really well with them. She works really, really well with Jing Yuan. Uh, she can work with Blade, of course. Uh, those are probably her you know, top five, in my opinion, best characters that she works with. Um, and other than that, she doesn't really work with everyone else super well. I mean, just in general, she is good of course she does stuff in general right she does the same thing that she does for them but just they can use it better right um i'm not sure how robin is going to fit into the game especially for someone like me who has ron may bronya and sparkle i just don't know where robin fits i don't know where robin goes who would i replace with robin maybe bronya but my Bronya is E2. Now, I know I'm not in the same situation. Everybody is. I know not everybody is going to have a Sparkle. I know not everybody is going to have a Ruan Mei. And not everybody is going to have Bronya E2. But I, I don't know. I don't know. Unless we see something that she does that the other ones don't. Like a really, really, and it, and it kind of has to be strong too. Like Sparkles, right? It, it, her niche has to be very apparent. It has to be very obvious or else I feel like we're getting into the category. Uh, we're getting into the territory with these harmony characters where a lot of it is just copy pasting, right? With maybe like one thing different, right? But that one thing does have to be really strong because you can make a character very similar to Bronya, just like Sparkle. But the thing is Sparkle does what Bronya does just a little bit better. And she has a niche that is very obvious. And whenever you put her in that niche with a character that, gobble skill points like no other um you are going to have an incredible time and you are going to deal incredible damage and you are going to get so much more value out of a sparkle than a bronya in those specific situations especially so i hope spark I, I hope robin can find her place in the game if you're pulling for characters based off of just you think they look good or you think they're cool that is of course your time to do you know i mean that that is on your terms right that's perfectly fine i'm never gonna say don't do that right Let's talk about Boot Hill. Boot Hill is probably, probably my second favorite design so far in the game. I'm going to have to see him, but Space Cowboy Gunslinger, badass guy. I mean, like he just looks so cool. He he looks so cool. I I really love it. I, I think my favorite design in the game is probably Blade. Uh, but wow, this is good. I mean, this is cool. I'm very excited for this character to come. This is a five star physical hunt. So two physical characters coming into the game and this is going to be uh, Shu Shang's direct uh, upgrade. So uh, Boot Hill. 
All right. Um, what am I thinking? What am I thinking? Uh, let's kind of compare Boot Hill, which we don't know anything about. Let's kind of talk about the current hunts in the game, right? Let's not talk about Don Hong. He's four star. Let's talk about Young Ching, who is probably the number one. Wor no, he is the worst character on the standard banner, right? I don't think there's any argument for that. Uh, he's definitely not. You know, he's he's under the preservation ones like Japard and, and uh, Bayou. He's under Bronya. Obviously, everybody is. Uh, Clara and Himiko have a lot of uses, especially in uh, pure fiction. And they have only gotten better with uh, other, you know, characters such as Topaz being added. And things like the follow-up sets have been added uh, for gear. Uh, you know, Yanqing has just fell behind. And he was already behind when he came out. Uh, when the game came out, he he is the worst. He is the worst, right? And then Welt is is really good too. Um, so obviously he's above that. Uh, he's above Yanqing. Zila, Zila is really not incredible unless you have Sparkle, and then she is, she is beyond incredible, right? She is like S plus tier with Sparkle. I'd say C tier at best without, right? Um, this is just off the top of my head. I'm not even actually like, I don't have a tier list in front of me, like maybe B tier, right? But Dr. Ratio, he is incredible, but he has to have a certain amount of, uh, he has to have uh, debuffs on the enemies. He has to be in single target situations. It's obvious for this class, of course, um, but more so Dr. Ratio than Zilla, I would say, who Zilla can be in a multi-target situation and still pop off and take multiple turns in one turn. Kind of like Shu Shang. I've watched Shu Shang take multiple turns in one turn. She's actually decently skill point efficient if you're uh, using your skill on targets that um, that have their weakness already broken, that are weakness broke. She doesn't spend skill points. She's actually pretty cool. In that way, uh, I really like Shu Shang. Definitely the better of the two uh, four star hunts. And then Topaz, who is kind of just a supporter, like secondary DPS for. Characters that are follow up based, so you know, pretty decent with Himiko, pretty decent with uh, with probably, I mean, probably honestly, Dr. Ratio would be bad. Um, I mean, there's so many. There's QQ, although she doesn't get her follow up attack very often. We have Blade, Jing Yuan, I think, uh, Lara, characters like that. Um, Boot Hill, what will he do? I, I don't want him to be a young Ching. And if he has a very, very, very specific niche like Dr. Ratio, I don't know if I can pull him then either, right? I definitely can't pull him if he's, if he's as weak as Yang Ching. There's no way that's going to happen, by the way. Um, but, right, if he is more like Topaz and Zilla, where I think I could actually get use out of them being on my account, I think his design is just really, really cool, and I'd love to pull for him, right? And there's nothing stopping me from really just pulling him just because I like him. But if there are characters that are like before and after him that I really like as well, but also bring a lot of value to my account, then I'm going to pick the one with, you know, more than, you know, the two upsides rather than Boot Hill with the one upside, right? So I really, really hope that he has something really awesome to bring to the table like Zilla, Topaz. I mean, Dr. Ratio too. Yeah, of course. Um, I just hope he's not like, I do single target damage. Um, I am a good damage dealer. Uh, what else? You know, what what else? Doctor Ratio, you know, Zilla, Topaz, they all have their niches, and they they really elevate certain characters. Like Zilla can elevate Sparkle the way Sparkle elevates Zilla. You know that that combo uh, goes really hard. I'd say Zilla out the least out of these ones, but like Doctor Ratio goes crazy with follow up. And whenever they're debuffed, um, and then Topaz goes also crazy with some follow-up attacks, uh, improving your other characters' follow-up attacks as well. So I hope Boot Hill is more like them, right? Uh, that that is my hope. That is my hope. But overall, I'm really happy that we're getting a five star just to replace a four star, and a five star just to replace a four star. Like I've said many times in the past, right? I don't like seeing things like what we have here in the Lightning Nihility ca category, where we have two five stars of a same um, type and element, of the same path and element. 
I think that we should work on trying to fill in gaps first. I think it would be really cool to get a wind, uh, physical and lightning preservation unit. I think it would be nice to get an ice abundance unit. I think it would be nice to get a wind and imaginary ear addition unit. I think it would be nice to get a lightning hunt unit. I think it'd be, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's, that's all the, um, empty spaces, but right. If we are going to add a second or third character into any of the categories and into any of the, uh, the, the hunt or no, the, the path element combo, or there's already someone else. If we're going to add a second or third one, I would like it to be a five star that replaces a four star, right? So I don't feel bad that Clara and main character are in the same one. Robin and Hanya are in the same one. Shushang and Boothill are in the same one. I would of course probably preferred that maybe Boot Hill be like, I mean, I don't know how it will work with his design, but like, you know what I mean? Like, like a physical preservation. I think that would be really, really cool. Um, yeah. Uh, for the four star, right? This is what we were talking about earlier. The four star is a little uh, different. We, at least as of now, two days after it was supposed to, no, it was supposed to happen last night, right? but it didn't and then it was supposed to happen tonight well no not then it was supposed to but like if it wasn't happening last night then of course the assumption would be that it happens tonight right and it didn't right uh usually comes out at 1201 that's what time this came out on march 12th 1201 march 13th and here we are on march 15th two days after it was supposed to come out and we have nothing um what we do have though is the knowledge that we are getting an imaginary harmony character, right? Imaginary harmony. Uh, let me see. Okay. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it's imaginary harmony. I'm 99% sure. So we're going to get a main character, imaginary harmony, and that is going to be our four star for this patch. I don't know. I don't know. I don't like that. You know, Yukong is a character that's not really being built and people will tell you, people will tell you, right? Uh, oh no, main character is five star. It's five star. It's it's gold, in the thing. Yeah, but do you, do you understand that their their strength? Are you telling me that five star that that main character physical main character is a five star destruction unit? You think that character belongs on the same level as Imbibitor Lune, Blade, Jing Liu, and Clara? You're out of your mind. Main character paths are four stars unless they change it. And because this one's on like the third planet, so it's like a late game planet, they actually make it five star level, right? Main character is not a five star, right? The preservation unit main character, uh, fire MC is definitely a lot better than physical MC, but not on the level of Japard, Fushuan and adventuring. Let's not be kidding ourselves here, guys. Main character is four star. So I'm going to put main character four in the imaginary harmony, right? Yeah. Okay. It's harmony. It's harmony. Sorry. I, I really just, I, for some reason I blanked on that really hard and I was like, uh, I gotta see, I gotta see. Uh, but yeah, it is imaginary harmony. So. We got Yukong in there already. This is the first category where we're getting two four stars. Uh, interesting, but yeah, I mean, unless they decide because it's a late game planet, you don't reach Kanekoni till you know you're later in the game, um, and so they make it like the actual strength of a five star. That would be amazing because then it would be like basically we're getting a free five star on top of the fact that we're getting a triple five star patch uh, instead of a four star with two five stars. But that would be cool. Um, yeah, but I don't think that's happening. I don't think that's happening. Um, that would be amazing if it did. I'm not going to randomly suspect out of nowhere that that is happening. So that is this is what we're looking at right now. 
unfortunately this patch in 2.2 no gaps that were previously empty have been filled but if you had hanya if you had chu shang i mean hey they are getting a five star uh power creep they're, they're you know so that is something to look out for i'm sure these characters are going to be awesome when they come out i'm really looking forward to see what boot hill does i'm extremely excited to see that i really hope robin isn't just another carbon copy of bronia sparkle uh, bronia and sparkle mostly because they're basically copies of each other just with different things um yeah so i'm worried so we have two harmony characters coming uh that's cool too unfortunately with me just pulling on sparkle i don't think i'm going to be doing that I, there's not a single character other than boot hill if he you know goes kind of hard that I'm actually actively right now planning on pulling, right? Boot Hill will be the number one, uh, just because of his design, basically. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the video, like it. If you dislike it, um, my mind was kind of everywhere. My, my mind's can, been kind of everywhere tonight, so uh, it was hard to concentrate on this, as you can probably notice. I've been stuttering and everything like that. Um, I don't know why. I kind of had a. I kind of have a headache, but. Uh, I tried, you know, I try to be high energy anyway uh, and get this video done for you guys. Uh, I was, re I, I am genuinely upset that we're not getting a, f a new four star, but it's okay, right? Because I don't really pull for the four stars anyway anymore, but I, I just think it's cool when we get new characters in the game is basically all I'm getting at. And I think it would have been really funny if the four star was Firefly and it just shattered everybody's dreams, right? And I really hope that Screwlum whenever he comes out, isn't a four star and Sam better not be a four star either. And Sam actually better come out in general. And so much, so good screw him. I really want the robo bros. Um, I think it'd be awesome to have both of them. Uh, I'm rambling right now. Peace. I love you guys. Sub like later.